In this video, let's understand what is Sonar Lint and the, how to use Sonar Lint to scan your Java code. The definition for Sonar Lint, as per the official website, it is used to clean your code, be it any programming languages, be it uh, Java, JavaScript, C, C Sharp, Python, and it can be used on many IDEs as well. That uh, you can see here, it supports many IDEs. In this video, we're going to focus mainly on Java with Eclipse. So I've written a block here for your reference. I'll share the details in the description for your reference. As I said, it supports many programming languages. If you go to the link here, you can see the supported languages and the rule set for those languages. Since we are in Java, we are focusing on the rules that set for the Java. So it has around like 649 rules and 54 vulnerabilities and bugs. Uh, then security hotspots and code smell so like this is like all rules put together and if you break this into different categories this is all the errors that possibly could find on your code so yeah so this is for java and if you look at other languages like python ruby and scala so you have many languages which such rules set upon this uh, solar lint this solar lint is easy to install and we're going to see how to install and how to scan the code using the eclipse ide uh, all those stuffs in this video so let's keep watching so the first thing uh, i wanted to cover is the supported ides so the basic ides uh, it supports eclipse intellij and vs code so we're going to use eclipse with java in this video as i said again and now let's see how to set this up in eclipse as a first step open the eclipse and from the eclipse go to your marketplace uh, from the help and don't worry about the projects that you have just go to help and then marketplace so once you're on the marketplace go to the official sonar lint website where you can find the sonar lint for eclipse so if you are on the ide if you are here you can get the sonar lint for eclipse by clicking here if you click on explore and then install for free and that would take you to this page if i can so the the way to install as mentioned um here if you look at the screenshots uh, there is a step there's a place where they put how to install from your eclipse let me get that from a from my blog and that have the detailed explanation about how to set this up so if you click that uh, yes so this is the introduction to eclipse marketplace client and you can have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this plugin on your machine so if i scroll down a little bit you get the install button and you have to simply drag and drop on your eclipse right you can either do it from here or from the previous link which i just uh, showed you here use this install uh, button and then drag and drop on your eclipse marketplace so let me minimize the screen and then get me to the eclipse marketplace so as you can see i'm on the eclipse marketplace here and we have a sonar lint uh, install button over here just drag and drop there so basically if you can search the sonar lint on the eclipse marketplace it can if it comes then install it directly in my case i did that did it that way by searching it and then installed it but in my second attempt it was not fetching me anything at the solar lens so i had to do the drag and drop so once you find this click confirm and then finish once it's installed all right then cancel it so in order to confirm if the sonar lint is installed or not you need to restart as soon as you install it you need to restart that uh, on your eclipse restart the whole eclipse so let it let it start okay let it come in front and meanwhile let me take it to my blog okay so that's the first step we did uh, we we understood what is sonar lint as i said it's used to do the code quality check on your programming languages you can be using this on many programming languages in this video we are sticking with java and step number one we dragged and dropped and that way we installed it on our eclipse and then we restarted it and step number four check if the sonar lint is installed correctly or not so there are ways to do that if the one way is you can go to eclipse and then go to about uh, eclipse so if you can go to eclipse on top left corner 
of on your screen if you're using windows it could be like file or about eclipse something like that you could find that maybe in a help so go to about eclipse and then from there you can see this round red icon if you mouse around it that would say sonar source so that is nothing but uh, the confirmation that you are eclipse is now having sonar plugin okay it's now successfully installed let's close that and let's move on to the next step where how to do the auto scan what is auto scan in um, sonar lens now we are all set with everything so now there's nothing much we can do about the sonar lens it's set on your project as soon as you install and confirm it over here so now what is auto scan so auto scan is nothing but uh, whenever you write the program the sonar lens identifies the potential rule breakers and it would highlight that in a blue blue line the one like this so there you see the red icon this is the error that comes from the sonar lint so you can mouse over on it and you can read through the description or you can deactivate the rule so it has a rule number s101 you can either deactivate the rule or you can open and read about the rule so if you click on open it gives you a explanation of what is a comp compliance solution and what is uh, your code looks like so this is how your code looks like in my case the class name is in the lower cases uh, whereas the naming convention for the class name should start with um, the, the, the regular expression that is the expression sorry the regular expression that is accepted in this format so I should have written it as maybe um, an uh, uppercase right um, starting with upper uh, uppercase letter and then followed by the lowercase so the next word should start with the uppercase so it should be in an uppercase format if i rename that this error will disappear yeah so this is auto scan so if you make up your mind okay i don't want to do the auto scan i want to do the scan what as soon as i finish my whole project i don't want to do the sonar lint to give you uh, the reports then and there then you can right click on your project wherever your project is so in my case I, it's demo right click on your project and go to sonar lint uh, sorry go to properties in properties if you click on sonar lint and there you have the check box which can enable you to disable this particular scan you can do that and the other way of doing the scan is right click sonar lint analyze so once you click on analyze you would get the sonar lint report in my case i have a couple of issues so as you can see one uh, it, it comes with the icon right so if you can if you can go back to the uh, the rules uh, for example where was it so it was having the rules let me get the rules for you yep so if I go to the rules, it has the uh, potential. Let me see if that really works. So yeah, so sometimes it has the same icon like here, and that would help you to see if there is any issue like that. Okay, anyways, this this icon does not is not making sense. Maybe this one over here, uh, the icon that you see on the gray is nothing but the code smell so this is like a code smell so it's nothing but there's something wrong with the way you have written the code so this is like a code smell and if i go back here and right click on that particular error and do rule description and that would tell me what is the root cause for this error and how to disable i mean sorry how to fix this error so, right so here in my case i have used sysout whereas as per the rule you should have used logger.log .log, which makes more sense because you can produce the logs at the end and um, also it clearly says if a program directly writes to the standard output there is absolutely no way to comply with those requirements that's why defending and using dedicated logger is highly recommended yeah yeah it's very common sense we don't use um prints in java and we sorry we we don't print in uh, python we don't use console log and we don't use sys out in console log in javascript and sys out in java so everywhere we do the loggers we don't do do this hard coded print so that's what captured in the uh, description here so what if um so let's say 
before I go to that, what if, uh, let's see how, what are the points we have covered here. So now we know how to, what is the auto scan and how to disable the auto scan and how to scan the project or a file. You can either scan the project by right clicking on the project and do sonar lint and then analyze or you can go to the file, a specific file in your project. In my case, this Java class, you can right click on the Java class and sonar lit and analyze. You can do the individual scan um, or you can um, also change the rules that, uh, that you see. Uh, so you can disable or enable the rules uh, that you feel like you don't want it. So to do that, you have to go to the Eclipse and then preferences. In, in your, if it's Windows, it could be different navigation so it should be preferences so find where the preferences go there and then click on sonar lint within sonar lint go to rules configuration and then go to java if you expand you can see all the rules that are set uh, for the sonar uh, lint so you can disable or you can enable the rules I'm not sure if you can customize. Uh, looks like there is a plus button to add the rules. Uh, I think you can, you can add uh, certain rules. I haven't tried, so uh, give it a try if you want to. So that's how you disable or enable. So the other point I wanted to cover in this video is like bind the project to Sonar uh, Cube. So there is this option called uh, bind, uh, which is nothing but. Let me show you what is that. So if you go to properties, you see there is a bind this Eclipse project to Sonar Cube. So if I do that, it gives me Sonar Cloud and Sonar Cube. I'm not going into this step. The reason because um, it is it requires the sign up and uh, it says free for FOSS projects and free in community edition. But in my understanding, as I put to put in my earnings here. I feel like it helps when you have a CACD workflows and when you push the code and the sonar lint does the scanning before it uh, pushes your code or merges your code into the branch. I don't feel like I need that for now because this is my private um, project so I don't think I need that. If you want you can explore but make sure you for, if, if it involves any payments if it's in, if it involves payments ignore that otherwise you are you are more than um, you know um, free to do those things if it's free so just be aware before you signing up and um, on stuffs it says free here so I'm, I'm I'm thinking there won't be any charges so yeah good luck with that so this is all uh, I wanted to share in this video use sonar sonar uh, lint to scan the projects it is quite different than pilot and ESLint which I worked on because I really liked pilot and ESLint because that literally gives you the the scores uh, uh, scores like 10 out of 10 or uh, 5 out of 10 so um, it's been a while since I worked in ESLint so I'm not sure if it does but both are similar uh, ha having the similar features yeah but here we have sonar lint at least uh, it does the scanning and if you want to scan your automation project or java code uh, try sonar lint and uh, share your share your feedback thanks for watching